okay, so I'm sure the background noise in this is going to suck, but this is my latest little project. It is going to be a lead screw movement uh, door slider. So the motor here will turn, causing this screw to turn, and these little riders, which are actually just a nut with a plastic housing around it that I 3D printed, and the door will attach here and hang down. As the screw turns, these will slide. There'll be two of them on the rail. And so what we've got to drive it is a Raspberry Pi Zero W for the brain. So it does have Wi-Fi, uh, but these are just 10 bucks. A uh, TB6612FNG motor controller. I think that was about four or five dollars. Uh, it allows me to provide 12 volt power from a uh, Amazon freebie. You know how people got random Amazon stuff for free in the mail? Well, that was one of my things. Uh, it was a 12 volt power supply. So that 12 volt power supply is feeding both this little uh, buck converter as well as the power voltage for that motor controller. So it has 12 volts to deliver to that motor. Then the rest of this is communication and PWM to the Pi Zero so that it can tell it when to start, when to stop, when to reverse direction. And that's what we've got going on with a little Python script right now. Just a little proof of concept that I have correctly used the motor controller to drive the motor. And I know and can control what direction and speed it has. So that was me executing the script. And uh, little violent shake that you see is it reversing direction as it wants to flop around. So that's going to drive this screw and uh, hopefully move a chicken door or a duck door back and forth and open and close it every day uh, from whatever software I write to trigger that motor action. Next step is I got to wire in these little limit switches so that they are our safeties at the end so we don't go further than these limit switches. We'll time it and I'll figure out how far we want to go fast and then we'll slow down and then when we hit the limit switches we'll stop um, and so we got to build that logic and then uh, the buck converter is also providing the 5 volt uh, for the Pi itself because I didn't want to have a separate USB adapter or something so it's providing the, the 12 volt adapter to the 5 volt for the buy. So, fun times.